In this tutorial, we're going to look at creating a inline splice using the hook method. We're going to be using our wire cutters, we're going to be using some straight nose pliers, and also our trusty wire strippers as usual. I'm going to start with two wires, and the first thing I need to do is remove the shield on two ends. So to do this, I'm going to go about two centimetres back from the end of the wire, and take off the shield. So once again, grip it, give it a little bit of a twist, and then pull. It may spray the wires, that's all right, give it a twist. Or if you want to step it up a little bit, what you do is you measure it, give it a cut, twist. When you pull it off, don't take it all the way off. And then you can start spinning the wire as you take the shield off. This will give you a finished product. So it's up to you how you want to do it. So now I have two wires, what I need to do is tin those wires. So I'm going to place it in my helping hand. Just going to wet and tin my soldering iron. Heat up the end of the wire. And let the solder flow through the braid. I'm also going to do this to the other wire. Remember to wet and tin your soldering iron before you put it away. Now once that's done, I can then create the hooks. Now to create the hooks, I'm going to use my long nose pliers. And I'm just going to bend the wire back. So I'm just going to fold it away. It's about a centimetre away from the end. And what you want to be doing is creating that nice little hook. We'll see what happens with the other one in a moment. So once again, grab the wire, about halfway along, or just before halfway along, just bend that back. You'll notice that we have a nice little hook. Now the reason for this is the two wires now can actually hook together. Like this. And therefore will cause a straight line that we can then put our shield on. So what I need to do now is squeeze those together. So once again, using my pliers, I'm just gonna close the hooks on one side and close the hook on the other side. So now we've got the two wires hooked together. Now we wanna actually close this off now so to do that, I'm just going to cut the excess wire that I have. Remember not to cut the other one. So only cut one side and then cut the other side too. That'll leave me the two hooks together. All right, just going to give the one wire just a bit more of a squeeze. And then we're going to solder this together. So I'm just going to place it back in my helping hands. You notice that the wires hold together in a nice straight line. And then I can actually heat up the join. Because it's been tinned, it makes life a lot easier. Then just add solder. And we're done. What we end up with is a nice join of solder with wires stuck together really well. Now the good thing about this, it's easy to desolder these joins and reposition the wires if needed. The other thing is, if you need to add some shrink tube, which I'll do now, just cut a bit off. What you, what you should do is actually measure how much you need. So what you need is a nice little half a centimetre on each side 
and if it is a long piece of wire you can actually put it on one side do the join then you can slide it across once again put it in our holder using the side of our soldering iron we can then heat up the shrink tube remember don't let it stick to the shrink tube so keep it moving you can use the back of the tip some people prefer that method or you can use a heat gun if you've got a heat gun available And once you're done, you should have a good hook joint.